Hi everybody, so today we're gonna to be talking about sarcomeres, and sarcomeres are basically the functional unit of a muscle. So these are the parts that are actually going to do the contraction when a muscle contracts. I'll do another video about what happens when your muscles do contract. So let's go ahead and get started. And what you're looking at right now is a sarcomere, okay? So if we look at the sarcomere, you notice there's these squiggly lines that are over here, and we have them over here. These lines here are going to be called Z lines. Now, some books will actually call these Z disc. Okay, so this is a Z line right here, and this is my Z line right here. Okay, and so my sarcomere is going to go from one Z line to the next Z line, okay? So this would be my sarcomere. All right, so it's gonna go from here, from the Z line to the Z line. All right, now, if you notice, we also have these thin parts here, and these thin parts are going to be called actin. All right, so actin is known as the thin filament. Okay, so everywhere you see these red lines here, that's going to be actin or the thin filament, okay? This thick line here is going to be called myosin. So myosin is my thick filament. The way I remember these two is the actin likes to act thin. If I take my thin filament and my thick filament, together we call those myofilaments, okay? I only drew my thick filament as being right here, but realize this goes all the way, all, everywhere you see the blue lines is the, is the myosin, everywhere you see the thin red lines, that's actin, okay? There's one other filament too that a lot of books don't mention, but I'm gonna mention it right here, and it actually attaches the myosin to the Z line. And this is going to be called titan. Okay, this is by titan. It's also known as elastic filament. Okay, or the titan filament. The, the role that this is gonna play is this is actually going to go right through this myosin and it's going to help, the, it's going to connect to this line right here that you see coming down the middle. And we call this the M line. And the reason it's called the M line is because it's right in the middle, right? So my elastic filament is going to come right into the M line right here. The function of this is it basically holds this myosin in place between the two actin. It also prevents the sarcomere from overstretching, okay? So now we have the M line, we have the elastic filament, we have the actin, which is the thin filament, we have the myosin, which is the thick filament. Let's look at some zones we have here, or in bands, okay? So the first thing we're gonna look at is, this is my myosin, and this is myosin of the adjacent uh, sarcomere right there. So let me draw my elastic filament right there, okay? And I, obviously I don't have that one totally drawn. And if I were to draw a line that started at this myosin right here, at the end of this myosin here, and went to the myosin in the adjacent sarcomere, we are gonna call this the I-band. So my I-band goes from the end of myosin in one sarcomere to the beginning of the myosin in the next sarcomere, okay? Now, the next thing we're going to look at is if I go from the end of myosin in, in a sarcomere to the other end of myosin. So I'm gonna go from the end of myosin to the other end of myosin, okay? And we are going to call this our A-band. So really quick, we have the I-band, right? The I-band went from the myosin in one sarcomere to the beginning of myosin in the next sarcomere. The A-band goes from the beginning of myosin in the same sarcomere to the end of myosin in the same sarcomere. So the, the A-band would be this whole area that you see coming right down here. Remember, even though I'm just drawing something here, it would go all the way down in the sarcomere, okay? The next thing we have is this area here where we go from the end of actin to the other end of actin. So this is in the same sarcomere. We're gonna go from one end of actin to the other, and we are gonna call this the H zone. So my H zone is gonna go from here to here, and that's the H zone. So the H zone, if you notice, only contains myosin. Okay? 
And again, I, would, I could draw that going all the way up. And then the other thing we have, if we look at this area right here, we have our myosin and we have our actin. And if you notice, they overlap, they overlap. So we call this the zone of overlap. So if I go like this and drop this down, this is going to be my zone of overlap. So my zone of overlap contains both actin and myosin. One other thing, this H zone, as the muscle contracts and relaxes, the size of my H zone changes. Okay, so that's it for sarcomeres. Thank you so much for watching. And if you liked the video, please hit the like and subscribe button, and we will see you next time.